if, if Israel were destroyed, which is the objective of Hamas, that is their state of objective to eradicate Israel and to kill the Jews who were who lived there. That is what Hamas publicly states. Iran says the same thing, which is which directs and owns Hamas. If they did Iran is Iran and, and China are one are one organism at this point. And they now, because of BRICS, they now control and because of Iran's control of Venezuela, they control 90% of the oil supply in the world. If Israel was not there, China can blackmail the entire world with our energy supply. And that is well, that is the most disastrous foreign policy outcome. We have an absolutely critical existential strategic interest for being in Israel. Israel for supporting them. Israel has never asked for troops. They never will. What they want is our support and they want our uh, uh, and they need some of our weapons. So, and we need to do that. Israel has a legal right to be there. It is not an occupying force. Israel was created in 1940 after the Ottoman Empire. Israel has been, we were the first country to recognize it. It's our oldest ally. We've been there for 75 years. Not only have the Jews continuously occupied it for 3,700 years, but everybody recognized after World War II the Jews need a safe haven. They need a country like we might. Catholic faith has a Vatican. It, it was 150,000 people in a gay pride parade a month ago in Tel Aviv and Jerusalem. The same day, they were pushing gays off of buildings and hanging them from cherry pickers in Tehran. Oh, you know, we want to preserve freedom. We want to uh, preserve the only democracy in the Mideast.